So a few years ago, I asked a friend if he had some extra carbon fiber scraps that I could use. He turns around and grabs a big unopened pack of carbon fiber tubes and throws it at me and says, here, is this enough? And uh, I was like, yeah, sure, I guess so. I didn't realize at that time that that was like $400 worth of carbon fiber. So here it is. I have eight tubes that are each exactly one meter in length, so a thousand millimeters. So naturally, the first thing I did was uh, daydream about how big of a drone I could build with these. So I thought, well, if I used each one as its own individual arm um, and made an octocopter, how big could this thing be? And so I designed and 3D printed this thing, uh, which basically allows me to put these tubes in here as close together as they'll go. So I put it together, and as you can imagine, I started drooling over the potential of how big this drone could be. But of course, life happened, and it sat like this inside my shop for about the last two years uh, collecting dust. But now we're gonna shake off the dust and build something cool. So the first question is, how are we going to design this body? Well, normally, when you build a really big drone like this one, the body actually takes up most of the drone, and the arms are actually pretty short. Uh, at least relative to the size of the body, of course, with a few exceptions. Um, the arms are usually just long enough for the propeller to get most of its thrust, I guess, uh, down past the body itself, if that makes sense. So the giant octocopter that I'm proposing is going to kind of look like a freak of nature unless we do something about that. Because really big sheets of carbon fiber like this one are extremely hard to find, unless you have them custom made or you know, custom build them yourself, which I don't have money to do right now. So what I'm gonna do instead is build the biggest body that I can with the materials that I already have. The biggest 3D printer that I have is the Anycubic Chiron. It has a build plate volume of 400 millimeters square by 450 millimeters tall, I think, which coincidentally just happens to be the biggest size of carbon fiber or fiberglass plates that I can find available on Amazon or really anywhere on the internet for that matter without having to order something custom made. So I'm just gonna design the biggest body that I can in Fusion 360 that will fit on my Anycubic Chiron 3D printer. And that's just gonna have to be good enough for testing until I can get my hands on some carbon fiber or fiberglass sheets. I forgot to record every aspect of building the body. So I drew a line, then I drew more lines and circles, then I extruded, then I drew more lines and circles, and I extrude it again. Yay. Whoa, how exciting. My 3D printer just finished making this part. It looks great. So as you saw in the intro, I put it together and this is what we've got. But if we don't reinforce these long arms, we'll have some of the same structural issues and vibrations as we have with this aluminum frame. But we'll tackle that problem in the next video. Oh crap. <laughs>